Greetings, esteemed action figure collectors and appreciators of posable plastic. It's your brother King Ape back again with another action figure discussion. And today we will be taking a look at the very cool toys, Tricky Baby, which is a take on some of the characters from Cyberpunk. Uh, you guys are probably familiar with that game. Uh, I think it's Cyberpunk 2077, something like that. You guys correct me <laughs> if I'm wrong. Correct me in the comments section. And first off, I want to let you guys know that I appreciate you coming through, checking out my discussion. Shout out to Ape Nation. I've got over 200 subscribers now, so... I just really appreciate you guys supporting the channel, supporting the content that I'm putting out and just being connected to collecting action figures uh, across all different brands, all different, uh, you know, characters, uh, different properties that we all are, are very familiar with, you know, in, in the action figure world, a, a lot of takes on old comic books, a lot of takes on some of our favorite animated shows, and some are just original properties that created these amazing toy lines. So I'm just glad that there are so many companies out there putting out some really great action figures. And if you are in the community of collecting, if this, if this is your hobby, what a time to be collecting because there's so many different types to choose from. This one in particular. So we have Tricky Baby, like I said, from Very Cool Toys. If you look at the background, you can see Robin there, who is also from, well, he's from V Toys, but I mean, they're kind of along, the, they're, they're in, in the same vein, in my opinion. But anyway, I just want to focus on her today. So. Let me give you guys a look at the packaging. Really nice packaging. Uh, there's a picture of her, Tricky Baby, on the back. This is some of the gear that she comes with. This is my first time opening her up, so we're going to discover this together. There it is, Tricky Baby. I'm not all that familiar with the game. I've seen some gameplay online but i have not personally played it my stepson played it he actually played the the newest version i believe they came out with some new down, downloadable content and he said he he actually enjoyed that more than the previous iteration so here she is in plastic solitude so we're going to get her out of there and like I said, I appreciate you guys stopping through, hanging out for a minute. I'm really going to try to do better with the length of my discussion. So everything's probably going to fall. So what I'm going to do is just kind of let it all come out. And then we'll just look at it. Uh, for all of you guys that are fans of... The MCU are just anything related to Marvel Comics or DC Comics. And they, uh, I saw online that they announced that they are going to be dropping a trailer tomorrow. The first trailer for the Deadpool movie, Deadpool 3, which we all know is going to feature the return of Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, I'm excited about that. You guys, let me know if you're excited about it. Uh, I'm just curious to see how they do it, uh, how the how the trailers, what they're gonna put in the trailer, and all of that. So, let's pull this off, and we have this piece here that kind of keeps her hair in place. So, I guess what we'll do is we can. I guess we can look at her first. And then look at this, the accessories. So let's do this. I'm going to change. There we go. So let's get a nice up close view of that head sculpt, which is really nice. 
they use the rooted hair, which I appreciate. I mean, it's just like a small porcelain doll, kind of. <laughs> but really good detail. Look at the stitching. I mean, some of these third-party companies... And these are small companies, mind you guys, and they're doing some amazing work on a fraction of the budget that some of your larger companies like Mattel, Hasbro, you know, NECA, McFarlane have. I mean, those guys, they could take note. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not throwing shade, but I'm just saying, look, look, look at the Nikes, guys. She's got the cool Nike sneakers on. Look at that detail. Even Robin in the background, he's looking like, man, her shoe game is, I got to step mine up. Just really amazing. Let's see if there's any detail on the bottom. Yes. You have some, some almost like, uh, kind of the rubber type spikes you would see underneath a, a track shoe or a golf shoe. Wow, that's really nice, man. Really nice. They've done a really good job on just the details, just right out the package, the all of the stitching, the, you know, even right here with the little latches up here. And look at that head sculpt, guys. I mean, she's, she's, that is a gorgeous head sculpt. Just the detail, look at the eyes, the lips, the nose, I mean, amazing. For, for this to be such a small figure, which we'll, we'll do next, we'll look at how tall she is. So let me let me change the view real quick and we'll get into her height and then we'll get into the accessories. Let's see, I'm trying to see if I need to move the camera a little bit. Okay, that's it. I don't want to move it too much because all right, let's let's get into her height. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Okay. So it looks like she's coming in at five and three quarters, close to five and three quarters, or just under five and three quarters. So, I mean, for me, I think that's a decent height, an adequate height for uh, this this type of, you know, female figure. I mean, she's probably a little shorter than what you would see in a traditional female action figure from some of the other, you know, like Marvel Legends or G.I. Joe Classified or... <laughs> <laughs> 